What up everybody, it's your boy the Smart Sneaker Head in the House coming with a brand new video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell in the front of my YouTube channel so you know when all my videos drop. Today, this is not going to be an edited video, this is just a shock video. As we all know, just a few minutes ago, Kevin Durant signed with the Golden State Warriors. Man! bananas like just last week most people were thinking he would not even sign with anybody else but OKC at least for the one year tender with the two year option with the second year option this man goes to Golden State the team he was within five minutes of beating and going to the finals over he's joining them now they have four superstars four all I could think about is when Chris Paul wanted to go to the Lakers and the NBA vetoed it to join Kobe. Think about all the hate LeBron has faced leaving a team in the East that was a 50-60 win team with him with absolutely no superstars on it. He had no superstars on that team. And then going to Miami, winning two, coming back the rest of the system, we all know. Big shout outs to Cleveland again for winning the championship this year when he came back. But LeBron was seen as the ultimate enemy for doing that after spending seven years by himself trying to rebuild the Cleveland franchise and not winning a thing. So I'm curious to see what all these LeBron haters, what all these, you know, these lovers of keeping, you know, not forming super teams feel now when KD, who regardless of maybe his somewhat dislike for the media, has a pretty good, like, golden boy image. So I'm curious to see. And let me know what you guys think about this, like how people are going to react to KD going to a loaded Golden State Warriors team. It's just crazy. I just cannot believe that. Obviously, they're going to be the favorites to win it next year. If somehow they don't win it next year, then what? I'm curious. But I think he is going to sign the one. He's going to do the two-year $54 million deal like they said. And he's going to sign long-term. I don't believe he's going to come back to OKC in a year. Nah, he ain't going to do that. So I know OKC is hurting right now. This pretty much, I don't know what's going to happen with Westbrook because his he's got one more year left. So he may be like, word, he left. I don't need to be here now. Or he could be like, look, I'll make this my team and we'll beat you and we'll win our own championship without you. I don't know what's going to happen. But man, I'm just in shock because I really did feel he was going to come back for OKC for the one year plus the one year option. And then... Maybe next year after they try, especially with them getting Oladipo and trading Serge Ibaka and uh, uh, drafting uh, Sabonis' uh, son, who is a killer rebounder, you know, and, and I really thought that he, that he was going to stay this year and give it one more go since they were really co-favorites in the West to go to the final. So I'm shocked. I think it's a little bit weak. If you ask me, I don't think it's the same as LeBron only because LeBron was going from Cleveland with no stars and really no chance to make it because they couldn't put any stars around him to Miami. KD is going to leave an OKC where he has a top five player as his teammate to go to Golden State. Now, I understand sometimes the change of scenery works. I understand sometimes, you know, it just doesn't work where... Even though you're best of friends and like brothers, you need to separate to really find yourself and improve your game. I get all that. But to go to Golden State, who won a championship, was a few points from winning a second, has three bona fide superstars on that team. Two-time MVP, even though he wasn't the MVP in the playoffs. That's a whole nother discussion. I know Dub Nation is ecstatic right now. I, I, I can't. I'm not even gonna be mad at him for that because if it was, if I had a team here, and we were able to do something like that, I'd be celebrating too. But I just find it a bit weak that KD would do that. But again, it's their decision. You know, everybody gets upset with this whole free agency, especially with all the money these mid to low level players are getting. Mazgov getting 64,000, 64 million for four years. Delavadova reportedly getting 40 million for four years by going to Milwaukee. Evan Turner getting 70 million for four years going to, you know, Portland after averaging 10 points a game and four assists and four rebounds. It's just Harrison Barnes about to get a $100 million deal to, to either go to Dallas or the Sixers. So the money's been crazy, but 
Let's not hate that because owners are ruthless. Owners only care about money. They're self-centered. They're ruthless. So let the players enjoy that. So I'm not mad about the whole money in this NBA offseason. It's just crazy. I didn't think KD would succumb to that and be like, okay, you know what? I can't win in OKC. Let me go where they win year in and year out on the West. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be interesting to see if they'll even gel because that's the thing. Golden State had an incredible chemistry. So we'll see what happens in the season, if they gel well enough or not. But, man, it was a weak move. You know, my, my words, if they don't win next year with four superstars on their team, man, I don't even know. You can't. Who, who will you blame? You, can, you have four players, a coach, and an older to blame for that if that doesn't happen. So we'll see what happens. I know Russell Westbrook is like, damn, man, you got to be kidding me right now. I thought it was your brother, man. I thought it was your boy. But anyway, just let me know down below what your thoughts are. about to upload this right now. Again, no edit. And with that being said, it's your boy, the Smart Sneakerhead, and the brother is out. Peace.